Derby nearly upon us. How fitting to have a daughter of a Kentucky Derby champion with us for our first full Friday of 2024, talking about a champion herself, champion Grassmere 2022, Regal Glory, a daughter of Animal Kingdom, who won the Kentucky Derby back in 2011. Standing with Mary Ormsby of Claiborne Farm. Tell us about Regal Glory. She's actually owned by White Birch Farm. That's Peter Brandt's operation. Yeah. So um, I think I just want to kind of before we get into this, yeah. kind of point out one of the things that we take pride in is just kind of doing the unusual and usually doing the usual and usually well. I love that. And we have a long standing tradition of kind of the way we raise horses. And I think, you know, we've had a good relationship with Peter for, um, you know, decades and horses like this really are a testament to kind of that dedication to breeding and um, a love for the game and a love for racing. And I mean, this is just a perfect example of it. Well, that's something that I find fascinating because I, I don't know if a lot of people know this or not, but Peter actually bred champion sprinter breeder in one of the British Cups were at uh, Gulch. Yes. And then he bred Thunder Gulch who won the Kentucky Derby. Yes. And so with Regal Glory here, and this, by the way, is her beautiful <laughs> into mischief filly who She's wants to steal hi. the show. She's just saying hi. Well, this is her first baby. Yes. This is her first baby. And you know, the hopes have to be high because she herself, she won her debut. She went on to become a four-time grade one winner. She won two editions of the Matriarch. And even though it wasn't a win, one of the things I find so impressive about her racing resume is that she took on the boys in the Breeders' Cup mile. She did finish 10th, but the beaten links were only five, and the winner there, Modern Games. Yes. So she's already exciting from, from that perspective. Hi, honey. Um, but when you're having a mare come in, changing careers, going into having her first foal, what is the process and getting her let down and, and all of that? Yeah, so um, classy is as classy does, and she was classy as a racehorse and kind of transitioned exactly how we would want her to. Um, you know, some horses, it can be a little bit difficult to go from that constant go, go, go to that next kind of phase of their life, but an adaptable horse is going to be able to adapt very well, and she's just a good example of that. She kind of transitioned into motherhood beautifully. I mean, this filly she has by her side is a first full, and it doesn't get much better than, you know, a filly that looks like that. <laughs> well, what was the decision process in getting her to into mischief? So I think probably what played into that is, I mean, how can you say no to into mischief? He's, no. you know, a five-time general leading sire, Right now, she, you know, she was a very, very phenomenal turf horse, and um, you know, he's had success both on the dirt and the turf. And I just, you know, I mean, it's hard to say no to yeah. a horse like Into Mischief. Well, that's fascinating too, because when you are talking about a horse like Into Mischief and the success his progeny has had, you know, the surface flexibility, you have to remember then that he is a half brother to Beholder, yep. Hall of Famer Beholder. Yep. Um, I mean, her wins, her Breeders' Cup wins on the dirt. She beat the boys in the Pacific Classic. Um, and then he's also a half-brother to Mendelssohn, who won yes. the 2017 yes. Breeders' Cup Juvenile on the turf. So you do have that uh, great uh, <laughs> Oh, goodness. She's like, get back over here, you she's little like, hair. She's like, stop messing with that. So this baby was born on January 25th. Mm -hmm. And I believe she was actually not only her first baby, but the first baby born here at yes. Claiborne for 2024 yes. season. That is correct. So off to a really good start, um, kind of got us excited for the rest of the fulling season because I mean, like I said, doesn't get much better than this as a first full and to have your first fulling mare being a maiden mare that has, you know, a baby like that is pretty exciting. Well, how did the, how did the uh, birth go? Uh, you know, straightforward, easy, exactly what you'd want with a maiden. Now, do you have, I mean, for people who aren't involved in horses, you know, where their hands on like this, <laughs> hi baby, hi baby. Um, do you have like the camera set up? I'm mean, night so, watchman. So we are it. very true to our roots and we're very old school with a lot of things and full watch is one of them. The only time we've ever had cameras in our stalls have been when we participated in full patrol. So we full watch the old fashioned way. We use um, people with their two eyes. Um, they're checked about every 30 minutes, if not more frequently, especially if they look like they're getting pretty close to fulling. Um, so we just do everything the old fashioned way. Well, the old fashioned way 
gets it done, yes. right? If it ain't yes. broke, don't fix exactly. it, as they say. Exactly. Now, what is the process for her going forward, this baby? I mean, in terms of how long does she stay with mom? When is the anticipated weaning stage, all of that? So we typically wean uh, about five months of age. So I would say either early June, we're going to look at starting to wean some. Um, she'll be on the list to get weaned early because she was the first full. Um, so she'll get weaned. She'll actually stay in this same location where she is. So she'll stay with her buddies until we move everybody to the yearling side of the farm. That happens in October of this year. Um, and then uh, kind of what happens after that is really up to Mr. Brandt if he decides he wants to keep her or if he wants to sell her. I, I mean, I can imagine he would want to keep her. This is a very nice filly. She is a doll. She is sweet, isn't she? She is <laughs> super sweet. This is an absolute pleasure. Regal Glory champion regal glory and her eclipse winner eclipse winner regal glory regal glory and her beautiful into mischief filly and she's scratching <laughs> back oh my goodness